check with no limit. Chill. Popping on X, popping on X, popping on X. Chills. Got a new car, got a new bitch, Ooh. and I got a Chill. new deal. Ooh. All the way to sign this get it. Popping off the rape and skid it. Smashing on that bitch and skid it. Run to the check with no limit. Popping on X, popping on X, popping on. Real hot girl shit. <laughs> yeah, I'm in my bag, but I mean he is too. <laughs> and that's why every time you see me, I got some new shoes. Hey guys, all right, today we're going to tell you three things you need to know about the FAFSA. Let's never pay attention, all right? First things first, even if you don't know what college you're going to or what you're doing, you have to get it started somehow during high school when they're telling you you have to. Senior year, you can't just ignore it. It's really important actually for financial aid because you're not going to know if you want to go to college until the end of high school when you've decided near the end. But either way, you still need to get it done in the beginning. So what you gotta do is do a college search. Search a bunch of schools and apply on your FAFSA. Click all those schools' names. You think you get like up to like 10 options? So 10 of your top picks if you wanted to go to college. If you wanted to go to college. Pick those and submit the FAFSA for those. Because you're gonna like, if you do choose education in the end, you're going to need financial aid like everybody needs financial aid. doesn't matter if you're rich or poor. Your family will want financial help. College is expensive. So get that help, first of all. And don't think it's not important. It really is. And then, second thing you need to know about the FAFSA. After you've already applied for it and all those colleges or a few of them have at least reached out and said you're in, don't think you're done with financial paperwork because I thought that and it almost really messed up like my whole grade. Like, not my grade, like, my whole setup for college, my whole financial aid package basically was almost ruined. Because if you don't submit papers, like, financial aid papers from the school separately for that stuff, they're going to be like, um, you didn't finish this financial paper, this financial paper, this financial paper. So for this quarter or for these few quarters or for whatever quarters, you're not going to apply for financial aid. And you're going to need and want that financial aid. So, don't don't think it's not important to go double back and check that second thing you have to go check your college for financial papers okay and third but not least you have to um arrange your financial setup like um after you've done the financial paperwork like that part's done don't forget you have like your own bank setup thing with the college you have to get your own like college card and stuff and then you also have to set up your payments for college basically you have to like pre-set up how you're gonna make the payments because they want to know that you're gonna pay and they're gonna want to know exactly how you want to pay so that they know what to expect when payday comes like if you said that you wanted to um turn it in in the office um every like middle of the quarter for like one middle like one half of the quarter and then pay for the other half separately if you want to set up different pay times for that you can do that or at the end of the quarter you, you can pay for that whole quarter you know, you know what I'm saying? You guys split up your payments or pay it all in full at the end. But either way, you're going to have to set up some type of pay plan with your college because they're going to want to know exactly what you're trying to do with that money because they feel like they're giving you all this financial aid money. So when it comes to paying it and paying it back, they want to know exactly what you're going to try to do. So if you get all that stuff set up, then you should be ready to kind of like relax and just be ready for your payday, like your day to pay them. But then you can just focus on your classes and stuff and not worry about financially too much but don't stop until that third thing is done because you think you get halfway and you apply in, during high school you think you're done with the FAFSA nah ha jokes because like that's not it you have to go and there's papers and it's set up you have to get it all done so and then you can rest but that's only for that year I think you have to do the whole process again next year I guess I'll see and that's my whole video for you guys. Thanks so much for being here and um, for joining me back again. I think I might be doing videos on Fridays, but like I said, we're still figuring it out. So give me time and I'll get back to you. Bye, guys.